housing only growing in Phoenix every 15 or 18 colonies to the next is enjoy. If I could hear you snore in case if you vomited, I could call EMS if you ever stop snoring. Because you're afraid I, I was going to die. I thought you would choke on your own vomit, which is very likely with you. Really? Yes. Very likely. But I vomit a lot? Yes. Sure. Yes, you do vomit a lot in your sleep, even more. Really? You, oh, it's news to you? Then this is affecting you a lot more than I thought it was. Can you please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1094? Your Honor, may we approach briefly? Sure. Mr. Depp, do you recognize this picture as being a picture of you? Yes, Ms. Hurd kindly showed it to me the day after she took it, yes. Okay. Um, this picture, no. I'd, I'd move for the admission of exhibit, defendant's exhibit 1094 and ask for permission to publish, Your Honor. We have no objection, Your Honor. This is a picture of you on a, on a black leather couch, passed out, correct? Passed out is an interesting way of putting it. Maybe asleep. Where is it? What, what residence? That's in Boston. I'm sorry? That was in Boston when I was doing black mass. In Boston. And that's, um, that's ice cream on your lap, correct? It is indeed. Uh, okay. Ms. Hurd asked me to hold the ice cream as she noticed that I was on, on the nod. That means falling asleep um, from the... 17-hour day that I'd worked and also the opiates that I'd ingested um, and if you'll notice my right hand is in my pocket um, so I wasn't participating in the festival of ice cream okay. um, I was holding her ice cream and um, because she knew what was gonna happen okay. that I would fall asleep and it would drop and that was a wonderful picture to take for her. Sure. I so, don't know why she took it. But. Well, so it's Miss Hurd's fault that that picture was taken. Is that what you're saying? She, she snapped it. Okay. All right, let's, um, let's talk about this, because you say you were in Boston. This is when you were filming Black Mass? Yes, sir. And you, you, you testified that that was kind of the last film that you did um, when you were, you, you were taking opiates, right? It was, yes, it was right before the, <clears throat> the trip to the island. To, to, and you testified South. yesterday that um, opiates, you don't take opiates to get high, right? You, um, you, you, you testified to that on a couple different occasions, correct? You certainly can take opiates to get high. If I doubled the dose, then I would most assuredly uh, be ready for sleep right. that's not a blackout that's sure so if you double sleep. if you double the dose you'd be ready for sleep but it's it wouldn't get you high in the way that other other drugs would correct well the the, the high is there, there's it, it's it's a, a extreme downer mm -hmm. um, it, it, it that's its job Right, and, and, and for that reason, I believe you testified yesterday or two, two days ago, it's not like you take those pills to get high. You remember giving up that testimony, correct? Um, I said that it's, it's not like I took the pills mm -hmm. to get high. I took the pills to Thank be you. normal, to stay uh, normal okay. so that Let's I wouldn't pull up get sick. Let's 866, please. 
What number did you say? I'm sorry. Uh, Defendant's Exhibit 866. But I also believe that I said that I asked Nurse, uh, or I told Nurse uh, Debbie that uh, I had told her that I needed more than I actually took because I always wanted to have one or two in my pocket just in case mm -hmm. the uh, kick started. Mm -hmm. um, if you could take a look at the, um, the text at the top of that page. Um, yes. It's a text, text exchange between you and Aaron Borum. Aaron Borum, you testified as one of Dr. Kipper's nurses, right? Yes, sir. And this is a text exchange that you had with her uh, in uh, August and September 2016, correct? Um, so I'm looking for the, oh yes, yes. Uh, which one are we looking at here? The, oh, the, top, the top three. And in the first, she tells you that she's watching Black Mass for the yes. third time, right? On, yes, so August 30th, yes. Yep. And, um, Your Honor, I'd, I'd move for, uh, I'd like to admit this exhibit, um, 866, um, and permission to publish, please. And particularly, I'm talking about the top three texts. The top, so redacting the other text, just the top three texts from the judge's name? Yes, Your Honor. Information? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, we have no objection, but we would ask that the fourth text message be included as well right. as context. So the top four text messages. Sure. And obviously the phone number is redacted right. as well. Of course. Let's get that up and see what that looks like. That's no fine. objection. Yeah. Okay. okay. One eight one. I'm sorry. Eight six six in evidence with redaction. Thank you, Your Honor. Michelle, could you blow up that third text? It starts with "You are the sweetest." Please. And in this text to Miss Borum, after she's telling you that she's watching Black Mass for the third time in a row, you write, "I was high as a motherfucker when I made that film." Ha ha ha. You see that? Did I, I read that right? It. Yes, you did read that right. Now, you can take that down. You've trashed hotel rooms before simply because you've had a bad couple days and an unpleasant time, correct? I have assaulted a couch or two, yes, sir. You'd agree that at times in your life you've expressed yourself through destructive behavior? Um, yes. And you'd agree that at times when you were angry, you smashed things up, right? More in my... Um, uh, confused sort of youth, yes. And you said in an interview one time, you said the following quote, you know, you have bad days and you know, some guys go play golf, some guys, you know, smash hotel rooms. You've said that before, right? It was um, it's just a yes or no question. You've said that before, right? In I've said it as a joke, and yes. You believe that if something feels stronger than you, that it's a human reflex to smash something or throw something against a wall or punch a door, correct? I don't believe that I'm the only human being that's ever punched a door or broken something in, a, in a, uh, an internal uh, bout with myself. No, you, I, I you don't believe that that's unique in that way. Sir. You believe that that's something that happens when you get frustrated, right? And that it's a mini explosion that comes and goes quickly. You agree um, with that, right? When I was younger, it was uh, it was uh, it was uh, a little bit 
more accessible, if, if you will. Right. Let's pull up uh, Exhibit 143, please. Can you scroll down? This is an email exchange between you and Stephen Duders, your personal assistant, uh, in April of 2019. You see that? Yes. And it's, it's two pages, I believe. So let's go to the second page, please. Um, or that the bottom of right there. Um, and you see that on April 19th, 2012, you wrote him, I got drunk and destroyed my room. There are hookers and animals in here. Did I read that right? Yes, you did. Your Honor, uh, permission to, or I'd like to move for admission of Defendant's Exhibit 143 and permission to publish, please. Uh, as long as the email uh, addresses are redacted, we have no objection, Your Honor. All right, just redacting the email addresses, but the full content comes in, is that correct? Yes, Your okay. Honor. I just make sure I got this right. Okay. Redact the identif identifiers. All right. Is it, you agree with uh, let's that? Let's just, can we just, let's make sure that that's the only, is that the only email address? Okay. All right. Okay. Wait a minute. Could you go down to the second page again? For a second? Go down to the second page, please. His signature line. Okay. Can we just see the top again? Okay. So, let's go to the top. Top of the first. The top page, of the first please. page. Thanks. Okay. In Thank fact, you. Is it no objection. Okay. Do you mind okay. if I read this, or are you going right. to read this uh, to me? One, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it. All right. One forty-three yeah. in evidence. You can. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, can you scroll down, Michelle? So you write to Mr. Duders. I got drunk and destroyed my room. There are hookers and animals in here. And then if you scroll up, he writes simply, watch out for Mike Tyson, have you num numbed? Uh, correct, and then you write, don't want nummies, thank you. Is it okay to put on a condom after the fact? I mean, if I just wear it for the rest of the day, like that works, doesn't it? I've had to kill a few of the animals for sustenance. I've made quite a mess. There's blood and animal tracks everywhere. I read that right? You did. And you're, you are currently um, uh, in a lawsuit for assaulting a crew member on the set of one of your movies in July 2018, correct? Um, yes, someone yeah. brought a case against me. Right. A man by the name of Greg Rocky Brooks is a suing you for That's allegedly punching him twice Relevance in the ribs. Relevance and um, four, right, 403 and 404. 